My Yo, what's good? What's going on, my family? How you doing today? I'm good, chilling. Solid, solid, solid. Bet. So everything, everything going on, recording. We all live. We all good to go, bro. We all, all right, bet. Bet, bet. So if y'all just joining the live, y'all are tuning to an Instagram live version of the Let's Be Honest podcast, and I'm joined by none other than Philly Zone HB the artist. How you doing, family? I'm good. That's what's up, bro. How you feeling today? How to, tell me how your day went. Man, it went good. Just working on art. You know, the usual. Bet, bet. What was you working on today? Or you uh, today I was working on... I don't want to release too much. I know, I know as an artist... Yeah, I don't want to say too much. Tough, you know what I'm saying? So uh, what, what can you do? Yeah. Um, well, I can say I was working on uh, this Kobe piece. I can't really show you nothing right now. You know? Let it be a surprise. I dig, I dig. So... How did you even find art, or did it find you? Well, I could say I found art in a um, in a family later on. Like you know, when I was a kid, like that's when I got into art. So you know, when I, yeah, when I got on punishment sometimes. Like I just get a piece of paper, <laughs> pen, start drawing random stuff. No, I did, I did, cause like that's that's actually my brother's stories. Like same story. Every time he used to get mad. Lie to you, not my man. Every time my brother used to get mad, he used to run upstairs, slam the door. Next thing you know, <laughs> five, next thing you know, two, three hours later, my man literally got a whole book full of just images, like just 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 pictures, stuff he saw on TV, stuff that is stuff from uh, from manga, anime. Like my brother, like he used to he used to really go hard at the art, and I really wish he would have stuck with it. So, like that's why I'm so drawn to your art because, you know, what I'm saying I see so many different influence influences like like through your art. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I used, I used to watch a, a bunch of anime back in the day, like Dragon Ball Z, Cowboy Bebop. Word, word, Cowboy Bebop was definitely one of my favorites for sure. Drake, like DBZ, yeah, facts. I, I, I I could go on for days. So, like, how would you describe your style since you draw inspiration from so many different avenues? Mm, I'll describe my style as versatile. Mm. Like, um, but mainly I do um realism and cartoons. That's like my main two ones. Kind of like the uh, the Prince one. Yeah, the Prince. Yeah, because that joint I saw, that joint was that joint was dope, most definitely. Most yeah. definitely, bro. Like, it, you know, I think... Talking about my recent dead, right? I think, I think the one that, that you just posted with Prince. Like, I, I, yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah that, that's the um, recent one I did. Yeah, the digital piece. Bro, that joint fly. All right, so what's the difference? Because I, 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 I see people doing all types of art, and... Like yeah, I guess yeah. they, say they do it like digitally, or they 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 do it like I, I don't, or they they draw it, then they scan it in, then they add the color to it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm, I'm trying. I, for me in my head, I, I always struggle with understanding how the how the pen and pad make it to the the you know the screen or the digital. You know what I'm saying? Like like walk me through that process a little bit. Right. All right. So with the um the digital, like you use like different programs like um like uh, Adobe. Uh, Photoshop. Right. Well, well, um, on Adobe Photoshop, they call it um, I think Adobe Illustrator, I believe. That's what I started off with. Illustrator, Adobe Illustrator. I think I know what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. But the one I use is on my um my iPad. It's called uh, Procreate. It's a, a program. It's like ten dollars. But, but you put it on your yeah. iPad, and you just like start drawing on there and everything. I did. I did. It's, it's then it's, with the um. But with the hand the hand painting is like you get like acrylic paint or oil, like whatever um your your media is. Then then you just like start painting or whatever. But some people they like they like to sketch it out before they start painting. And some people they just like, you know, they freestyle or whatever. But me personally, I just like sketch it out and just paint it in. Mm, so you kinda just like just just, just freestyle and then you just fill in it after the fact. Yeah, pretty much. I think I saw that on one of your um your time lapse videos. I saw you drawing it first, and then I started. And then I saw you starting to add the um the ink or the um or the uh, the paint. Oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. That was the uh one of the freestyles the ones I did. Word. I, I think you talking about the one that um the little infinity clock that I did. I think so. I think that's the one. Um, I could I couldn't really tell because your back your back was facing the camera and like it was going so fast, and I'm like and I'm like. Yo, like, oh yeah, that, that's how the time. That's one of my big. favorite things to see. That's one of my favorite things to see. Like when artists post like the time lapse videos, like you, you like yeah, you, really, you really see that thing coming to life. And 
for me, like, I'm not artistic at all. Like, I, I ain't gonna lie. I was one of the kids that was, was doing more talking than drawing in art class. You know what I'm saying? So right. <laughs> see, I'm not the most artistically uh, inclined. If anything, I'm artistically challenged. So, so like, <laughs> I, I, I'm always, I'm, I'm always like inspired and just like in awe of people that's, I guess, doing it on the level that they're doing today. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm always right. just like thrown by it. You know what I'm saying? But one of the things you said to me that was probably small, but it's, it's so heavy. You, you said that in order for you to get the program on your iPad, you had to, uh, you said you paid for it, right? It was, a, um, yeah, uh, it's you, said called, you, like $10. you said you paid like $10. Yeah, it's, um, yeah, $10. What mean, which is not nothing at all. So, right. But still though, I want to, I want to, I want to key in on that for the simple fact that you had a mission and in order to attain that mission or complete that goal or objective, you invested in yourself. Like right. speak, speak on just, you know, as creative people, you know, doing, doing things that we're we'll doing and just how important investing in yourself truly is. I can only, you know, I can only imagine for you as an artist, you know, tools, um, right. you know what I'm saying? Canvases, uh, different, um, paints. And, you know, I'm pretty sure that can get, that can get expensive depending on quality, all that kind of stuff. Just yeah, exactly. through, like, how, how important it is for all, you, all that, you know, investing in yourself. Right. All that stuff costs money. Like ain't, ain't nothing really easy about it. You know? Why you want to be successful? We got to invest. Or that's that's deep. I mean, success. I feel like behind, and also I feel like behind every success story is not just like you know that. See, see, investing in yourself, mm -hmm. investing in success takes sacrifice above all else. It, exactly, you got to sacrifice a lot too. A lot of people don't want to do that. I can only. I can only imagine, like for me personally, me starting my podcast, like this is this is um I believe episode forty, uh I want to say this is episode forty one, forty two, something like that. And forty one, damn, how long have you been doing this? I only been doing it for. I want to say I started I started January of twenty eighteen, and twenty eighteen right. was kind of like the the rough patch year. I'm trying to work it out. I'm trying to figure out my you know, like what I'm trying to talk about, you know what I'm saying? I, was, I feel you. It's, I was, it's funny because like, um, like, like 22 was that, work, that, that, that workout year. In 2019, I kind of just, right. I've, I've been going all in ever since and I've just been like putting my head down and just locking in, bro, and, just, and you know, just investing myself, you know, I like put money where my mouth is, you know, paying for my software that I, that I need. Right. Money See, that's what I'm saying, investing in yourself, you know, paying it's, for um software and stuff like that. Yeah. That's what you got to do. But yeah. it's funny though you mentioned that because um I discovered you um through my cousin um Tony Pesos. Oh yeah, that's oh, that's, oh, that's your family. Yeah, that's my family. That's, that's my god. That's yeah, my god. Uh, yeah, he rap. He um he yeah. paints sometimes too occasionally. Yeah, paint with pesos. That's my guy, yo. yo. Yeah, that's crazy, yo. That's and that's the little and that's the little shit I be talking about. Just building that that network. You know what I'm saying? It's see in Philly, I feel like it's a stigma behind us. As far as, especially amongst creatives, but I feel like there's a stigma behind us, you know, be it if it's um, that we can't work with each other or we're not business savvy, you know what I'm saying? We so focused on the money, we're not paying attention to opportunity. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We're looking for handouts. See, it? see like, I'm, I'm, in, I'm like living in Delaware right now. It's the same okay. way in Delaware. Yeah. Okay. So it's like people, like, they don't want to come together. They think they're too good to work with each other and stuff like that. Right, but little did they know we yeah, all crazy. on the same plane. We all on the same plane, yeah, bro. Exactly. If if I help you, okay, boom. I see your art, right? Boom. Next thing you know, I know somebody that's trying to put 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 a gallery together. They need some artists to put some stuff in. Boom. I'm at my man HB. I'm saying, yo, I know. I say HB. I know somebody that's trying to get some stuff in the gallery. I know you. I know you got dope work. What you think they gonna? Um, it's a potential for you to sell your artwork. They go, oh yeah, boom. Next thing you know, you link up with the person that got the gallery. Then. At that point, they might link you to somebody else that get your opportunity to get your art in another place. Yo, it's literally, it's literally a, a spider web of just networking. It's a, it's a chain effect. It's a domino effect. Just how me doing my interview with pesos, boom, mm -hmm. that led me to you or led you to me. Vice versa, how hard we want to put it. Yeah, yeah definitely. Like, I, I think I started following you, and you followed me back. Yeah, yeah. And plus, like, ultimately, yeah. like, I, I fuck with your art. Like, for me personally, uh, one of my favorite ones, and, I, and like, I don't even know if it's finished yet, but. I gotta speak on this one, like the uh, the Cowboy Bebop slash Pikachu one. Like I need to know. Oh, yo, yo, one. that that joint finished too. Yo, I, I mean, I, I posted on my um my gram. I think you missed it. Probably, I'll, I'll be posting stuff like probably a couple times out the week, maybe. 
Yeah. So I don't post everything on there. I got like a lot of unreleased stuff. Okay. Okay. Now, like, you did you did you sell that one at at, at the pop up shop you had like not too long ago, or or you, you, you said still I got sell it? it? Yeah, no, 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 no. I, I still got it. I still got it. Oh, okay. Bet, bet, bet. Now, listen. We probably gonna yeah. talk about this a little later, but I'm just gonna plant that seed. I'm I'm very interested, my brother. <laughs> I'm All gonna, right, I'm, I got you. I'm, I'm I'm gonna plant that seed right now. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Definitely. But, I, I definitely so, got you for a good price. You know, I ain't gonna uncover your pockets like that. You know? Listen, listen, family. I'm a firm believer in investing in my own people, putting my money mm -hmm. where my mouth is, and right. I don't look for, I don't look for discounts at the end of the day. You know what I'm saying? That, that's, 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 that's 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 just me how I feel. I feel right? you. Like, and you know, like, I feel like that's, that's another problem, too, as far as, like, you know, being an entrepreneur, like, you know, people that knew you for years and shit, like, they, they off the top, you know, expect um, a discount, like, try to, like, be entitled to your shit, you know? Yeah. Like, to me, that's people, crazy as well, like. Like, how huh? many people think about this? How many people probably ask you for a self-portrait or whatever, but they was trying to ask for a discount? Like. Oh, man, I can't, I, I can't see that tell my head. <laughs> Yo, I, I can't even count. Yeah. Uh, There's, like, so many, yo. Like, then on top of that, you know, like, on the regular, I'll come across bullshitters. Yeah. So you, you like, once you name your price, like, it is go disappearing. Like, you like, no, I'm going to hit you whenever. I'm like, okay. Right. Then it hits you with the, uh, oh, word, damn. Like, I could have drew that. Nigga, no, you didn't. Because if yeah, we could have, like, you wouldn't exactly. have asked me. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, exactly. Like, like it. Get a get a paintbrush and get the brush and you feel me like yeah, they like, do like, better. Show me something. Yeah, listen, you might put me on. Show me something. You know what I'm saying? So it, it's, right. it's a it's, it's a programming, bro. And it's something it, yeah. it's something that we gotta. It's something we all got. It, it's something we definitely gotta shake as a collective. You know, right? It's not mm -hmm. easy, but but yeah, it's, it's not. But it's worth it though. Definitely, it's definitely worth it, especially when you like me. Perfect example. I'm walking down the street. I see an old head selling, um, um, you know, the Muslim oils and all that. So, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So at that point, <laughs> so at that point, I was going to keep it pushing. But at the same mm -hmm. time, I'm like, you know what? I do need some shea butter. I do need some oils. Let me go show them some yeah. love. You know what I'm saying? Bottom yeah, line. that could come in handy, yo. Yeah, the shea butter, the oils. Listen, real quick. Uh, yeah, <laughs> you know, if you go outside real quick, you good. <laughs> but, but I want to... um. I want to dig a little deeper into your process. How would you, how would you describe your your artistic your artistic process? I guess beginning, middle, end, or is there ever is there ever really an end for an artist? You know, I know sometimes artists are never truly satisfied with their own work. There's always something that they could adjust. Yeah, like um, let me see how I could put this. Like, like, like basically, like my, pro my process. Like, like through, I, I think I was walk me through us. Uh, just walk me through. Your average, like okay, before okay, let's let's start with the idea. How do you come up with okay. what you want to draw first? Wait, like I come up with it is like you know sometimes I might be like chilling somewhere watching TV. I might be at work somewhere. Then right. the ideas just pop up in my head. Like I have unlimited ideas, you know. Like certain stuff pop up in my head, or I like go on Instagram, like look at artists, um, different type of artists. Like majority of the time when I'm on IG or whatever, like all those will get like. A certain artists and like an idea might pop in my head or i go to an art show or something then ideas just pop in my head it's like it's crazy how it happened i can only imagine i can only imagine it's like the, like the, the equivalent for that for me would probably be like i might hear a conversation or something that i want to expand i'm like oh shit i want to i want to dig into i want to dig deep in that on the podcast i want to i want to put it back i want to put the layers back on that you know what i'm saying right. like that's that's real dope so all right boom you 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 get your idea wherever you might get it from, where you get inspired from. Matter of fact, what, what exactly mm -hmm. inspires you? Let's let's stay around. Let, let's stay in that realm in regards to the idea. Like, what, like what inspires you on a daily basis? Like, what, what inspires you as an artist? And also, what would you say inspires you as just a human being, as a man? Well, what inspires me as an artist, you know, like I was just talking about, like you know, I look at different artists on um, IG, and um, some of my favorite artists, um. One of them, he he from um, he from Delaware, but um, he got kind of got like a similar style. His uh, his name uh, Brian Mills. Brian you Mills. You got uh, check him out on IG. He got some nice work too. I'm, I'm and, like um, look up Brian Mills. Brian Mills. Shout out to Brian Mills. Where, and um, also uh, 
he he's like real big in the art industry now. He from um he from West Philly. Um, I don't know if you heard of him, King Saladin. Yeah, I heard of King Saladin. Yeah, Most King Saladin. <laughs> yeah, he, he nice big and shit. Like he dope. Uh, Yo, King Saladin and, um, and um Blue the Great. He, I know you heard of Blue the Great. Blue the Great. Yeah, it, it sounds familiar. I, I don't know. I probably know his face by see him. I don't know. Matter of fact, I'm gonna I'm gonna try to see if I can something that you. All right, you, you listen to Schoolboy Q. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know that album he came out with called Crash Talk? Yeah, he, he did the cover. He did the cover. Oh, yo, that, that cover tough, though, with the little tra trash bag on his head. Bro, when you, when the, you look uh, at brown paper bag. Bro, when you, look at, when you look at the other work, it all makes sense. You're like, yo, his style, crazy, bro. When you get the chance, yeah. look up Blue the, when you, when you get the chance, look up Blue the Great. He a, he a dope artist. Blue the Great. Yeah. And there's was one, one more artist that, um, you know, I got influenced by, um... I, I like Monopoly. I don't know if you heard of him. He never saw his face though. He always got like some type of bandana mm -hmm. on his face. I gotta look him up. Uh, I, like, I, like yeah, I like Monopoly. Um, A L E C then Monopoly. Oh, I got you. I like like Alec. I got yeah. you. Alec, I got you. I like got he, you. he does like graffiti, graffiti art and like he does a lot of murals. Where where I got I, I got a homie that's real into like graffiti work. She uh she always where, dropping around film, taking photos. Um. Uh, take a, you know, taking photos in front of like you know different yeah. graffiti murals. Like sometimes one time, yeah. some some I've never seen before. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like have you ever have you ever yeah. even thought about getting yes getting your yeah, images or like yeah, like what would that be for you to get like that like that fit that that that, that call? Like hey, listen, we we've been, we've been paying attention to your artwork, right. HB. We want to we want you to do a mural for us. Like how like you know how Ooh. you think you think about that? I went, um remember that uh that affinity clock I was just telling you about? Yeah, yeah. I'll probably put that on a mural too, and like put all like different stuff on there, like the um little graffiti letters and stuff like that. Yeah. And put different messages in the um the infinity clock. That's that was like the, my main reason I came up with the um infinity clock. Mm. I did. You know, like it pretty much stands for like you know timeless. You know. Yeah. 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 It can it 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 it, it can definitely stand for timeless, or you don't know how much time you got left. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, at that that, point, that, you, that's true as well too. Like, you got to you know, take advantage of every opportunity you yeah. get. Every yeah, hopefully you... I, I still got a lot of time on this earth. You know, I ain't trying to go no oh, time soon. Definitely, yeah. God willing, you know, God willing, you know, we we all got plenty of time on this earth. In, in the way I see it, you know, each day, you know, I try to I, I try to build this podcast and lean this podcast on integrity, transparency, and you know, um, I guess just being myself, and I feel. That as long as I'm being myself with my podcast, as long as you being right. yourself with your art, at any point, right. if, if 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 this shit in tomorrow, God forbid, you know, I can I I can I can I can sleep well, I can know I can know I did it the way I wanted to do it. I I, I can I can live with that result. All right, I facts. Is there a such thing as an artist selling out? Mm. I mean, to me, in my opinion, I, pro probably, but I don't, I don't really know any artists that actually like sold out personally. Yeah, yeah, that, that, I'm that's a good question. I never really like work. thought about that. Yeah, I don't, I, I don't just, know. I mean, I just thought about it myself. I'm, I'm thinking like, damn, is that even possible? Like for yeah, artists, quest to questions that need answers, you know? Really, really, you know, who knows? Like, sure. but at the same time, in order for you to sell out, somebody got to be willing to buy in. So at that point, <laughs> exactly. you know. <laughs> You gotta, you gotta. I mean, I, I feel like I feel like I'll be all right as long as I stay true to myself, you know, and stay loyal to my craft. Most definitely, most definitely. I, I, I and yeah. you, like me, just you know, just watching your art, just like just the, you know, the little bit that I, I have been able to like experience and you know, keep up with. Like I see, I see your confidence growing through it. I see, I see you taking chances on uh, maybe an idea or maybe taking chances on a certain um, coloring or a style of putting yeah. it. Cause I, cause I, I don't believe digital was always your, uh, always your lane. Was it not? Mm -mm. Nah, it wasn't always my lane, but you know, like after a while, you know, I was like, took a chance. I'm like, you know, I should just try this. I'll see how it would work. Yeah. Then the first digital joint I did was, um, was a Nipsey hustle piece. Yo, that one. That one became perfect time. Yeah. Oh, I ain't gonna hold you, bro. That that one that one was heavy, especially like the one. Cause I think did you? Do uh, it's, it's not it's not the one. It's not the one you're thinking about. It was like when I first started. Like honestly, I ain't really like like the first one I did. Then after a while, I got into it more. Huh? 
You talking about with him and Lauren Linda on the horse? The hold on, say that again. I can't hear you. My bad. No, you good. Uh, you talking about the one with him and Lauren London on the horse, right? Oh no, nah, no, nah, that was in the first one. The first one is just like um a headshot. But okay. I, I looked on Google and I discussed it out. But at first, I didn't know what I was doing with the digital. I was like using like different tools on it and stuff like that. And you could tell. Yeah. Yeah, but I, I use like a few tools now. Like I can't really tell anybody what I'm using. No, no, you know? no. That's cool. That's yeah. cool. It's a method to everybody, man. This is all good. Exactly. Everybody had different methods when it comes to art. So Yeah. And that's the thing. That that's the thing about it. That's what makes it so dope. It's not it's, it's there's no right or wrong way to get it done. And that's right. the dope thing about just like the, the these these lanes we in. You know, you and your art lane, me and my media lane. This it's no right or wrong way to really do it. It's however you do it, just do it do it the best way you know how. And it's not, it's exactly. Also, it's nothing new under the sun either. You know what I'm saying? It's 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 just reinvention. You know what I'm saying? You know, I got I, I'm 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 curious. Um, at what point? Because you know, it comes a point. Everybody, it comes a point. Everyone's journey where you have where you have to say, okay, am I going to double down on my passion, or am I going to put my passion to the side and focus on that nine to five? At what point for you did you decide to commit to your art? Uh. I'll say it's in August 2017 after I came back from a vacation in Florida. Because when I went out Florida, you know, like I did a whole bunch of thinking and my mind was just opening up more, you know. Word. Yeah. Now, I, I'm not going to lie to you. When I first started um, painting in 2017, like, I didn't have all the best work. Honestly, I feel like some of the work wasn't, like, all that great, you know. Then after a while, you know, I started looking at certain um, videos on YouTube and it just kind of helped me, you know, progress. Most definitely. See, like you had to, you had to, you had to refine, you had to refine that that natural talent you had. What happened? Exactly. What happened on that vacation that was that that sparked that one vision? Uh, just like seeing like different views and stuff, the nice weather. So you probably was like, "Damn, I could probably draw it." <laughs> yeah, exactly. Just think about different ideas, my you know, it's like. That's real though. I mean, it's, they, listen, crazy how that how that happened. Listen, not listen, not every, not every uh, war story or success story is sexy, man. Like, not every story is sexy for real. For real. Me, exactly. like, I just like me personally. I got I got hit on to the podcast stuff like while I was in college, uh, mm -hmm. doing college radio, and I learned about podcasts. I'm like, okay, let me. Okay, I know this college radio thing not going to be forever, and I know it's going to be hard for me to get into radio stations. Okay, let me find out a way to, let me find out a way to. Right. Uh, manufacture my own sound let me find a way to put myself out there without having to you know uh i guess without either compromising myself or you know just working with what i had and that was the podcast and, you know you gotta and, and that's the thing uh about about being someone that's willing to someone that's willing to but someone that recognizes something that's called self-awareness you you reckon you recognize right. something and you acted on it and not only did you act on it, you continued and you persevered through the. Because I'm pretty sure it was plenty of pieces. You was like, you know what? I, I'm I'm never gonna get this shit. I'm done. You know what I'm saying? It, it's I'm, exactly. I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure those nights. Nice you had those nights. I know you have. You know, walk, yeah, definitely. Walk, 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 me through, walk me through the mindset of being in that dark place and having having to pull yourself out out of it. Yeah, you know, sometimes like I'll just do like certain sketches or something then. You know, they have them do all all this erasing and stuff like that. Like, then it gets to the point I get frustrated. I just put it to the side. Then I might come back to it like the next day, or give it a few days, come back to it, or just work on something else and just come back to it. You know, like like different types of stuff. Mm. See, I used to always think <laughs> I don't know why I thought that. <laughs> I used to always think when an artist starts something, he got to finish it that day. <laughs> Oh no, no, hell no. Yo, I used to think the same thing. I used to think the same thing. Cause look, like if you if you think you're gonna get it done the same day, I mean it's possible to get it done the same day, but it might not turn out the way you want it to. And that's how some of my shit turned out kind of shitty in my opinion. Mm. Yeah. Then um on top of that, um I had a uh a, what's the name a, um a tattoo artist that followed me. Uh, okay. he go by he goes by Big Dog Ink. Shout out to him. Uh, he he was telling me like you know like how long it take you to do this? I told him about uh 
like five, six hours. He's like, oh, so you rushed it, huh? Like, he, he already knew from the jump. Mm. He told me, like, you know, just take your time, you know, like, just give it about maybe like 10, 12 hours or more, then you're going to see the difference. I started taking my time and I was started seeing the difference. I'm like, oh, he's right. You know? Yeah. Like, imagine, like, you know, I can only, I can only imagine drawing, you know, like, drawing something roughly on day one, or I'm sorry, drawing something roughly on Monday. Then you, you might look right. at it Tuesday morning, you're like, damn. No, let me shift that a little bit. Like I can see it better now. It's yo, that is a real thing. You can you can stare at something for too long, and your 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 view of it becomes your view will become um, biased in a way, and right. you can't really fight it. You just gotta take your eyes off of it, and you know, um, focus on something else. And then once you go back to it, it's like it's like guaranteed that you're gonna notice something new about it. That's that's right. always see like artists. Like you guys, like I, I, I really look at you guys as some of the most unique people on this planet, because right. I look at an art piece and I'm like, okay, I see, I see the shapes, I see the lines, I see what they did. Okay, why can't I do that? And then I see myself, <laughs> trying, to, I see myself trying to do that, and I'm like, why am I not getting it? What is it about, like, what is it about the hand that you gotta, the angles? It's so, it's so nuanced, it's so. It's so technical. It's so amazing to me. I, I always look at you like look at you guys as like superheroes in a way. It's it's right. it's amazing how you're able to just take this thought, this idea, and literally materialize it onto a canvas or a sheet of paper or a screen. Uh, I know, like, what was for you personally? What was that one piece of work that you was just like, oh yeah, this might be my best one. Uh, the Nipsey Hussle piece, the uh, the, the black and white joint when he had the uh, do rag on. Uh, I did. Yeah. That was. I yeah, my sketch of that. I'm like, yo, this is definitely the one right here. That's one of my best Nipsey pieces I did. Bro, I think so too. I noticed that one. I know. I think. I, I think he drew that one. He drew that one after he passed. Uh, yeah, I drew that one after he passed. Like, yeah, I could see I, I did the, um, remember the one with uh Lauren London and uh Nipsey when he yeah. had the horse out. Right. Yeah, right. I did that one a month before he passed away. Man. Like Nipsey was such a powerful individual, man. Yeah, he was, definitely. He em he embodies so much, not just as a not just as a as a rapper, but as an artist, as a as a as a philanthropist, as a black man, as a family man. He was he was so many different things outside the music. You know, it's it it it, it, it it's, it's inspiring at the same time to just to be able to come from the bottom, come from nothing, a family, that, a dad that migrated from Africa, uh, yeah. it's, you know, to have that mindset to want to bring wealth, success, passion, integrity, ambition back to your hood, that's, that's something to, to marvel at. And yeah. that's something I, that's something I want to aim to do with my own creativity. Yeah, I, like, definitely. Like, how do you want to, like, I'm pretty sure you do, how do you want to how do you want your your art to be perceived? How do you want to inspire people through your art? Uh, I basically want to inspire people, you know, just like, you know, giving them a lane, you know, just express themselves. Expressing yourself. Yeah. Uh, then it's like eventually, like, eventually later on, just have our own, like, art galleries around. Yeah. I, I feel, like, I, I feel like I people don't do enough of that, though. I, I, I feel like our people don't do enough of Expressing itself in the right ways. I feel, like, I feel like we I feel like we're only given about three options: rap, or ball player, or go to college. And that's if we make it that far. You but know to see that the the rap and the ball thing, you know, like not everybody make it in them lanes, you know, especially the rap. Because listen, not everybody has it, you know. Listen, don't ask me to dribble. I shoot, I spot up, but don't ask me to dribble. <laughs> <laughs> don't ask me to dribble, family. I will spot up for you real quick. And damn sure don't ask me to rap. <laughs> don't ask me to rap at all. Oh, man. Yeah, that definitely ain't my lane. The, uh, the rap ain't definitely not. Mm -hmm. Yeah, dog. And I feel I feel that um, as black people, we got to give our own, we, we got to give ourselves, our own people, a fair shot at this shit. You know what I'm saying? We can't judge each other for um, not taking this route. Or we can't judge each mm -hmm. other. We can't, we can't judge each other for not talking like this. Or right. or not or being from here at the end of the day the black experience is the black experience, 
You know what I'm saying? It's, 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 there, there's no cookie cutter black experience where, where we're not a monolith. How, how important is it to you just to represent as a black artist, you know, out here, you know, just putting that, 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 that energy, you know, that, that, that aura, that, hey, listen, we're here. We deserve to be heard. Our styles are much more than just, uh, our styles are much more than what we say, ah, you know, um, why can't, why can't that why can't that black artist be put on the same height or level as a Da Vinci or you know what I'm saying? Why yeah. not? Just why not? Yeah, that is very important, you feel me? Why not? You know? Yeah. Now, what I know I I know in this process somebody th there was there was doubt planet somewhere. It had right. to be. There's always, there's always doubt. There's always someone behind the scenes planning doubt somewhere. How important? Matter of fact, let's let's approach it from this angle. How difficult? Yeah. How difficult is it to see through the doubt, see past the doubt? How difficult for you is it to recognize, you know, constructive criticism versus just flat out hate? Mm, to me, honestly, it's not too difficult, you know, like, if people hate, I'm going to still do what I want at the end of the day, you know? Like, whether people like my art or not, you know, I'm going to still keep going. Because not everybody going to like my art, no no matter how good it is, you know? There's always going to be people out there that are not going to like your stuff, you know? You can have, like, grade A work, and they still won't like it. Probably just because it's you, or they can't do it. Mm. That's how I look at it. Mm, that's, that's key in on that, the fact that they can't do it. I, we we spoke about that earlier. How I, I was just talking, how an artist is able to just do it. See, you can yeah. either you can either be inspired by something you can't do, or mm -hmm. you can be intimidated by something you can't do. Right. And as humans, we have that path. We have that option. See, that's the power of choice. We have the choice to inspire or be. A negative light. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. You, have, like, you got that option to learn or to push back. And for me, I get inspired by the art. For the next man, he get intimidated by the art. Why do you think is that, that is? Like you said, it may not be, but they can't do it themselves, or they probably wasn't even told that they could do it themselves. Yeah, they it's probably have all, all that stuff, the stuff down in their head. You know, it's just like eating them alive. Uh, and I know for you, it's at the point now where the moment you get an idea, you got to get that shit out. I know it's at that point now. Yeah, exactly. Or or what I do is, like, I'll just, like, you know, write it down on my notes on my phone so that way I don't forget to set a reminder. So, you know, I have so many ideas coming in my head, I might mess around and forget. Word. Word. That's why I just, like, write it down on my notes on my phone so I won't forget. Mm. But most of the time, I remember all my ideas most of the time, so. Mm. What was that feeling like when you sold your first piece of art? Like, do you remember the, do you remember the art? Like, 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 do you remember the image and the person you sold it to and for how much? Um, I think the first piece I sold, I, I believe it was the, uh, the Prince piece I did last year. Okay. Not, not the one I recently did. It was, right. a, um, it was a stencil piece. Which is another style of art. It was a um black and white, the little prince piece. Okay. Yeah, I, I sold it to um one of my family members. I sold it for about about a hundred. Hey listen, shout and, out to that shout out to that family member for you yeah. know, not only not only recognizing the young brother talents, but for paying that paying that bing. You know what I'm saying? To show that I right. see you, brother, and I'm supporting you. And I'm investing in you. I look at I look at that people that buy in as investments, not handouts. And people got to look at it like exactly. that. We got to look at each other like investments. And, and the crazy, crazy thing is, you. Like, you know, the crazy thing is, she ain't even look for no discount or nothing. Like I told, gave her a price. She said so. So I was like, bet. And, and that's how I feel. I got a you know perfect example. Like let me show you something real quick. I got a friend. I got a friend that do anime art and shit. And mm -hmm. and she drew this. Off the off, like just off the strength, she drew this. Yeah. Yo, I, and, I think I think I seen that on one of your podcasts too. Yeah, like just sitting in the background. Yeah, and straight up, I said, I said, uh, I said, how much? She gave me a price. I said, boom. She said, she said, she said, no matter of fact, uh, she said, um, 
she gave me the. I said how much? She told me the price. She said, but I can. She, she said, she said, but I give it to you for this because you my homie and I and, and, and I fuck with you, whatever. I said, no, no, I want that full price. I want you. I want you. I want you, I want you to get all your tips. You know what I'm saying? Right, so so, 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 that, so that's she the started. Thing I do it. Listen, man. Like I'm, I'm, I'm investing in. I'm a firm believer in investing in my own people at this point. You know what I'm saying? Like, like I, I just, I just can't see it no other way. I just, I just can't. Not, not, not at this point in my life. I can't. I just can't see it no other way. Right. So when are you having your your next pop up shop? Because I'm trying to pop up and you know invest in you at some point. You know what I'm saying? Ooh, my next pop up shop. I'm trying to get into something um, next month. Whatever is available, you know. And I'm if I'm feeling it, I'm gonna be in there. Yeah, man. So I'm listen. definitely keep you updated for sure. Definitely, definitely keep me updated. You know, uh, you know, like I said, I've been I, I've been paying attention to your art, bro, and you know, you're dope, dog, and. and at Definitely. This, at this rate, like, if you don't mind me asking, how old are you? Asking. Uh, well, this Friday will be twenty nine. Oh, this Friday be twenty nine. Damn, that's what's up, yeah. bro. That's what's up. You, 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 literally in prime years, family. Like you, you haven't even scratched the surface of what you, what you, what you're going to create. And then it might take that one person buying your art and hanging it up somewhere here, and they're like, yo, who, who, who drew that? It, t yo, it takes yeah, one definitely. person. It takes one person. You yeah, know, one person, you just in the in the door, and then you start getting like different. The next um, you buzzing. Like, hey, you know, HB, I need this. HB, yo, I need this. HB, yo, next thing you know, you got people asking for album covers. Then you got you like, oh wait, I can't, I can't keep up with all this shit. Hold up. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> definitely. Like when that happens, you have to be, you will be prepared for this shit. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> definitely. Happens, Most likely, yo. <laughs> and, it, and, sure. I'm, and I'm putting that energy out there. It it will happen. It will happen. Yeah, it definitely will happen. I already know. Just don't know when, but it's definitely gonna happen soon. Yeah. And uh I come to realize that it's better to grow like this versus yeah. versus than just you don't want no overnight success, you feel me? Because the overnight success don't last that long. Like it could just yeah. end just like that, you know. That shit, is, that shit is scary. That shit is terrifying. Yeah, definitely. You don't want that. One of my biggest fears is this podcast blowing up too fast to the point where I can't put up, I can't develop the content. <laughs> it's bad. You know, I'm not, I can't develop the content. Yeah. It's bad that people want it from me. And that come with talent. That come with experience. Come with skill. And I can't, exactly. cultivate, I can't cultivate that overnight. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, keep this shit takes time, man. Like, you can't, you know, respect overnight success. Everybody want it now, you know, but it takes time. You got to keep building and building. Yeah, I know, especially as, a, as an artist, you have to practice yeah. Like patience has to be one of your number one, you know, traits. You know what I'm saying? Definitely. I can, you know, it's it's like, like without patience, you really, really. It's like it's like it's like it's like microwave. Matter of fact, perfect example. You uh -huh. ever you ever put something in the microwave real quick and you be like, oh, oh yeah, it's a little, <laughs> little soggy. You could you put it in the oven? It got that nice crisp. It fill you up more. You know, so it's more fulfilling. Oh, yeah, definitely. You know what I'm saying? I'm 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 at that point like I'm pretty sure we're at that point in our lives now where microwave is not it at this point. I'm going for legacy. I'm going for longevity. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like I like I said, like I wanna invest in my own people and invest in my family, put my family in a position. You know, I I got so many plans, so many things that I want to accomplish and just in my own personal, you know, in my own personal success story. And I'm, I know, I know on top of your art, there's so many things you want to do. I'm pretty sure you got vision on top of vision on top of vision. Like, yeah, exactly. To not only take your art to the next level, take yourself as an entrepreneur to the next level. Take yourself as a black man, as a black intellect to the next level. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. Like, why are you on this path? The, the path of a struggling artist is is the path of a struggling or the life of a struggling artist exactly what people think it is because I feel like the stereotype is you know an artist damn near almost living out their backpack um barely making ends meet you know what I'm saying um mm. try, trying to study art in the subway <laughs> you know like I mean is, is the stereotype of the struggling artist really what exactly what people think it is in your opinion or in your respect honestly it, it could go either way you feel me like you know some people like they could like have a good job and make good money, but at least, like as an artist, you know, they still like you know struggling, you know, to get to that high level. Mm -hmm. Then you have some people like 
they don't have a job, they barely making money, they, you know, they still making their art. You feel me? I feel like you should just like work on your craft, like regardless of like where you at in life. Mm. So the struggling part of the so so the misconception is that struggling artists equates to financial downfall. That's the misconception. Struggling right. artist does struggle. See the, the key word is struggling. Struggling doesn't necessarily mean financially. Exactly. It could, be, it, could, <laughs> it, could, it could be struggling with your time, your inspiration, mm. family. It goes beyond just the financial struggles of an artist. An artist can have every, right. you know, all the resources in front of them. And but, that's what we talked about earlier too. Like you know, like having like you could have like grade A work, and you know, people still like don't see it or they don't really appreciate it that much. Yeah, it's something missing. It, you, like exactly. I said, like, like you just said, you can have all the tools, all the, you can, you can have the most expensive oils, the most expensive software, the most, you know it's, what I'm saying? Exactly. <laughs> but if, it, if it's not connecting, what's the point? And mm -hmm. I think that's the difference between your art and some other art I, I, I've ever seen. Like, I can truly see the, the effort in your art. I can see I can see the the evolution, the growth. You know, right. I can just see the passion through your art. I can tell you're not just doing it just for likes, or not just doing it just to be seen or heard. Like you're doing it because exactly. you're something you care about. And you, like I said, you're, yeah. you're in the prom, you're in the prom, and you're in the prom of your life right now. You can you have you have, you have you have the utmost freedom to just create and just live, and that's a beautiful thing. Yeah, that's the best part about it. Then I'm, I'm never doing it just for likes and like to be seen and stuff like that because you can tell who's doing that. You feel me? Like, let's put this shit out there, just put it out there. And it's like, yo, like, and you can tell by the quality, like, they just putting, just putting this shit out there. Mm. Mm. Then I always look at it as like, like, um, quality over quantity. Feel me? I, I feel did. like that's what anything, you know, just quality yeah. over quantity. That's, 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 that's real, man. Like, um, even with my podcast, it's like the thing that's so easy to get caught up in when you, like mm -hmm. doing something like I'm doing is the numbers, the views, mm -hmm. uh, you know, the likes. And, like it's it can it, it can really skew how you view yourself. And earlier right. on, earlier on, I found myself getting too caught up in that. I had to check mm -hmm. my own bias. I had to check my own. I guess you'll say. Um, had to check my own ego. And yeah, sometimes you gotta check yourself is needed. Yeah. Yeah, like like t like like tell me about a time where you had to like check yourself, like, hold on, listen, relax. I'm 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 young, I'm at this point in my life, let me not put too much pressure on myself. Like like was there ever a time where you had to check yourself and give yourself like a I guess a reality check? Like, listen, bro, give yourself a break, man. Like you you, you can be okay. <laughs> I, I, had, I had a few moments, you know, like one night I was just painting, you know. Then, you know, I was like letting certain things get to my head. You know, I was like, you know, I just gotta relax. You know, everything gonna be cool. At this point, it is what it is. See, exactly. when you're doing something that genuinely makes you happy, you could care less about the outcome at this point. Right. And that's the dope thing about being a creative person. The dope thing. See, I love seeing dope people doing dope things. I love seeing creative people doing dope things. I love seeing creative people doing different things. It's it's it like seeing your art inspires me to do my version of art. You feel what I'm saying? See somebody, seeing somebody yeah. perform, like I'm inspired by the the people that's doing it on all on all levels. You know what I'm saying? Because if you can't appreciate the janitor, what makes you think you're going to be able to appreciate the CEO? Exactly. <laughs> it's just, it's just that simple. But you know we're gonna get ready to wrap this conversation up, bro. Um, this like I really appreciate you for showing love to the Let's Be Honest podcast. Um, this, I, def I definitely, definitely, definitely want to bring you back on to talk more about, you know, stuff you got coming up in the future. Um, man, like, the Let's Be Honest podcast truly, truly, truly is humble to have you to be a part of it, my man. Seriously. Yeah, I appreciate you appreciate having me on this. Show. This podcast cannot exist, cannot function without people like you, without people giving me an opportunity to share with them, talk with them, share my truths and learn about your truths as well. This podcast is is nothing without, you know, 
it's nothing without it's, it, it, it's nothing without positivity. It's nothing without love. It's nothing without friends. It's nothing without family. It's nothing without just spreading, spreading good energy. It's nothing without it. It's nothing without creating people like you. And um, I pride myself on that. I pride this podcast on that. And once again, you know, I appreciate you for being a part of the Let's Be Honest podcast with your humble host, uh, Big Bro Tone, bro. I really appreciate you for that. Why don't you show us the people? Problem, man. Tell the people where you can find you on social media, where they can find your art. Uh, how can they purchase art if they want to? How can they get in contact with you if they if they want you to, I guess, maybe um, do work for them? But do you do personalized work? Like, do you do self-portraits or whatever? Oh, yeah, I do self-portraits. So how, do, bet. so how can people get in contact um, with you? To, I, don't, you know, I don't have my own website just yet. It's like, okay. you know, under construction. So it'll be out soon. Bro. Bet. But um, they can find me on IG. My um, my first page H to the B, uh, H underscore two to then underscore B. Then my um, my other page is my um, my art page, which is Dope Paintings by HB. Um, Dope Paintings by then underscore HB. They can find me on that. Solid, solid. Make That's sure cool. you go check out all HB art, man. The dude is a maverick. The dude is on the way up, coming out of coming out of Delaware. Right. Yeah, Delaware. <laughs> out of Delaware, family. My yeah. boss said, I'm originally from Philly. Like it, it's all good. I'm oh, okay. Philly. So you come from the Richmond, Delaware? Okay, I got you. Listen, yeah. from the Pride State, Philly zone, Delaware zone. Listen, man, make sure y'all go check out H to the B's art on Instagram. That's H underscore to the underscore B. Make sure I go find out. Make sure I go check out uh, um, H uh, H B. Uh, what, what was what was the second page? <laughs> no, work, good. Uh, don't work by H B. Dope paintings by HB. Dope paintings by HB. But, um, at, at the after the buy is underscore HB, but it, it'll pop up anyway. So definitely make sure I go check out HB on Instagram. Anywhere you can find his art, reach out to him like through, uh, through DM, comment, like, share, um, buy, be inspired, be challenged. You know what I'm saying? Um, again, you inspire me, bro. Just doing your art. You know, just being you, being being the dope person that you are, doubling down on your strengths and investing in yourself. That's I really res- I really respect you for that wholeheartedly, my, my man. I really do. Yeah. Thanks. Really that means that means a lot to me, man. For sure, for sure. Like, please, please, I beg you, don't stop, bro. Do not oh, stop. Nah, that, that ain't gonna happen. I'm not stopping. Yes. I'm dead. Stop, I won't stop. The bottom line. Real recognize real bottom line. Let's let's end on that note. Listen, y'all, y'all was tuned into another dope episode of the Let's Be Honest podcast. Make sure y'all check us out on Anchor, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Stitcher, Google Podcasts, YouTube. The podcast is on every platform that you could possibly think of. Make sure y'all go check out the Let's Be Honest podcast featuring your humble host, Big Bro Tone. Make sure y'all go check out HB's art on Instagram, H to the B, Dope Paintings by HB, Dope Artwork by HB. Go check it all out. Go check yeah, it all out. Yeah, check me out, man. <laughs> Please, most definitely, this guy, this guy's next up. Seriously, always remember these things, y'all. Creative people do different things. Make sure I stay humble, stay healthy, and most importantly, stay hungry. One love, y'all. Always. I catch up with you later, HB. Peace, family. All right, man. Be safe. You already know, big dog. All right. <laughs>